All right, guys, let's talk about some of the adjustments we can make to our light painting photos here in Lightroom. We're going to come in here. I just want to show you why using the auto button is not a good idea. What's going to happen if I press auto? You can see auto is trying to lighten up all these dark parts. We don't want that, but it does give us a good idea of what adjustments we could make. So notice in order to get all these dark parts to show up, it brought up the shadows and it will oftentimes bring up the black slider and bring down the highlight. So we're actually going to want to kind of do the opposite here. So I'm actually going to take this shadows one. I'm going to draw it back down. In fact, I'm going to keep going way down. What I'm trying to do is get my background nice and dark. I'm going to bring my black slider down as well. And then I'm going to bring my highlight slider up. Be careful. It's easy to go too far on this one. And then maybe even the whites slider up as well. And you can kind of adjust these as you need. So you can get a pretty cool basic adjustment here. Just by moving the highlights, shadows, whites, and black sliders, you can make your um, light painting look a lot better. Let's see. Let's come down here. We can play around with the saturation and increase the color. Watch cranking up the saturation. You can see really can enhance the colors if you have some color in there. And you could also warm up or cool down your colors a little bit with our temperature. And where you can really do some cool stuff is like, let's say you want to change the color of the red here. We can come down to our color mixer here. And this is sometimes hiding. This is sometimes collapsed right there. You may need to expand this guy out. So we're looking for the color mixer. And remember, luminance changes the brightness of colors. So watch this as I move. If I come over here and move this red slider, watch what happens to the red in my image. Okay. Saturation changes the intensity. I can make it a little more saturated or a little bit less saturated. saturated. You can see that there. And then hue will change the color a little bit of the red. So I could change the color a little bit there. So I can't make tons of adjustment in the color, but I could make a little bit. Just be careful when you go too far in light painting, you start to get these weird marks right there that don't look very good. So you don't want that to happen. So you can make a lot of changes to your light painting just with some of these basic adjustments right here uh, in Lightroom. Another thing I wanted to show you, though, is this brush uh, tool right here. This keyboard shortcut is B. The first time you click on this, you'll get a little pop-up right here, a little tutorial. Just clear that out. Click on Got It. And let's just make sure everything is reset and on zero here. And let me just show you what I can do with this. Like, let's say this window over here is bothering me, and I can't quite crop it out, so I want to darken it down. What I'm going to do is grab my exposure slider. I'm going to bring this way down here. And then look at my brush. You can see Lightroom's giving me a little sample of what it's going to look like. Well, I want to increase the size of this a little bit. So I'm going to bring this size up and just watch it get bigger and smaller there. So maybe about right there looks good. And then I'm going to come over here and just start painting down the exposure on this window. I'm going to be careful to try and not paint the light painting. So I'll try to avoid that. And the cool thing here is what's happening is if I put my, see this little blue circle? If I put my blue circle over there, or if I put my cursor over the blue circle, excuse me, uh, Lightroom's showing me what exactly I painted with the brush, meaning this is all of the area that is being affected by me changing the exposure. Well, I can change other things too. Now that I've painted it in, I can change the highlights and bring down, watch this bright part around the window. Watch what happens when I bring the highlights down. I can darken that down there, and that's helping out a ton. If I needed to, I could bring the shadows down a little bit more. I don't need to on this one, so that's pretty cool right there. Um, even <clears throat> right here on this one, watch me. I'm going to not do the exposure here. Oops, I'm actually change of plans. Let's come up and let's do this one right here. And instead of just adding on to this one, because if I continue painting, I'm painting basically the exact same thing, the same settings, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to Command Z that to undo it. I'm going to click on this plus sign to add a new. And now I'm again, I'm going to actually, before I do that, hold on, let me click on this delete it press delete on my keyboard to get rid of it and i've hit the new button and i want to reset these so i'm going to come over here i'm going to right click i'm going to reset all sliders that's going to reset those i'm going to come in and paint over that white line right there and that white line right there and what i want to do is see can i get that to be darker without messing with the yellow and let's see what happens if i bring the exposure down overall that doesn't really mess with the yellow it does a little bit so i don't want to go too far and let's see what happens if I do highlights. Oh, man, that's not bad. See how much darker I got that? I did affect the yellow just a tiny bit, but I, it, to me, it was worth it. It was a good trade-off. Now I want to get this little spot right here. So I'm going to do new again because this is going to use different settings than this one did because here I don't have to worry about the yellow paint. 
And there you go. I probably should have right clicked and did reset sliders, but I didn't need to. It worked out perfectly. So you can see I can come in now and kind of just clean things up a little bit here and get rid of all these bright spots that in, me, in my opinion are ruining my photo just a little bit. And I can clean this up and really make it look good. You could also come in and be like, well, I want to brighten up the yellow. Probably would have been easier to do that on the channel mixer, but we could do it here with the brush tool. Click on new, reset all sliders, and let's brighten up the uh, highlights here. And let's see, we'll paint over this white here. And you can see that's just making that part wider. But again, would have been maybe easier to do way back here on the color mixer to make those local adjustments. So there you go, just like that, we went from here to here by doing some basic adjustments with our light panel, then coming down and playing with the color mixer, and then using the brush tool to make some more specialized adjustments and uh, really clean this up and make it look better. So that's how I want you to edit your light painting photos.